Hey Charles, uh, you know, thank you for uh, joining me on uh, for this interview and joining us for the panel. Um, I thought you did a great job uh, with uh, some of your slides. Um, but before we begin, how you know, given the the the, um, the conference is about fusion analysis, this particular technical conference, how do you think about it? You know, share that with us. The concept of fusion uh, of the three main disciplines traditional of traditional investing, fundamentals, <coughs> technicals, and quant, uh, I used to also think of as three separate disciplines. Mm -hmm. Now, through my experience, I just think of them as a holistic way of investing. Um, our work starts with the fundamentals. I've been a fundamental analyst my entire career. Um, we meet with managements, we assess economic cycles, we assess monetary policy, legislative action, mm -hmm. uh, business cycle, cash flows. Um, we really try to understand our positions from a fundamental perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, the, but that's just the beginning for us. Mm -hmm. Once we have solved the fundamental puzzle of what we're trying to accomplish, uh, portfolio construction and risk management is a different animal than security selection, which is what stock picking and mostly fundamental analysis is about. And so we'll, we are traditionally, from a technical perspective, a trend following process mm -hmm. in the rich tradition of the turtle traders. So we look for an edge, something that you have that's proven to work, uh, something that's an edge that's quantifiable, and that quantification needs to have a positive expectation, minimize losses, and risk management. Mm -hmm. Those are the main tenets of, of trend following, and we apply that to the fundamental cases for stocks. So I think that's interesting. So am I to assume that you begin your process on the fundamental side, or do you begin it on the technical side and then look for fundamental justification for what you're seeing technically? Process-wise, we start with what most people call the global macro. What is the state of the various markets, fixed income, commodity, rates, uh, FX, and equities, uh, and uh, uh, up or down? So do you want to be in or out, long or short? Uh, and then we really, as you put today in your presentation, we take what the market gives us today. Mm -hmm. Our ability to forecast in the future, I know from doing manager analysis that some of the best managers bat around 480. Mm -hmm. And some of the best only, and some of the worst can even still bat above 500. So it's not a, so much as about the batting average for us, getting the position right, mm -hmm. as it is managing the position once it's in the portfolio. Um, but from a security selection perspective, it starts with the fundamental and how it works into a sector view. Mm -hmm. And then how are we hedging that position or getting alpha on the short side as well. That's interesting because that's definitely unique to the way I would think, um, you know, most technical portfolio managers or technical analysts will look at the world. Um, in, in terms of the um, the uh, the short side, uh, given that the trends of the markets have clearly been up for several years, how do you think about managing the short side? Uh, very difficult for four years now with shorts for most hedge funds because the market has incredible breadth. Mm -hmm. Has had 80 20. 80% 80 of stocks are upward trending and only 20% are, are going down. Mm -hmm. uh, to us, we only search for the shorts in th that part of the market that is already going down. We try to short stocks that are going down, not going up and about to go down. Do you need fundamental support for that? Absolutely, you yeah. Uh, the, the market moves that we see on the screens are all reflecting fundamental and economic realities. Mm -hmm. Cash flows of companies, CEO changes, competitive dynamics, new product releases, good news and bad news, greed and fear, uh, earnings and losses. And th what we're pretty good at also is pattern recognition. Mm -hmm. So recognizing certain setups, uh, but rather than forecasting, what we'll do is try to go back in time and back test for what has and hasn't worked to try to save ourselves from ourselves. We can all get out of our <laughs> skis on uh, being too enthusiastic or not enthusiastic enough emotionally and using our quant technical tools is how we uh, keep the guardrails up. It's sort of like 
when you put the guardrails up in the bowling alley for the kids mm -hmm. so they don't roll a gutter ball. Yeah. The risk of ruin is a gutter ball. Yeah. That's an interesting way to end things. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Frank.